Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Sacred Sundays. We haven't touched the book of Psalms since October 16th. And as you know, uh, if you've read, if you've heard me do the Psalms already, I do five every time. Or every, yeah, five. And then I wait five weeks and then do five again. Uh, so uh, it's been a while. I've only missed uh, two weeks, which would be today and last week, I believe. Going to my calendar here, you can't see this, but from October 16th, 16, 17, 18, uh, November, uh, October 30th, um, the, the Sunday before Halloween would have been uh 13, 14, Psalm 14. The first Sunday of November would be 15, I believe, 16 and 17. The 17th chapter of Psalm, the 17th Psalm, would be read on the 20th, two weeks ago. So starting the 27th and today, and then two weeks after that, or three weeks after that, uh, will be 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, I may do a little more because we're getting close to Psalm 23. So I'm going to read Psalm 23 as a separate one, as a separate video. So here we go. Uh, with chapter, uh, Beginning with Psalm 18. Psalm 18. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I will trust. My buckler. That's interesting. My buckler, verse 2 of 18. Buckler is verse 2. Where's buckler? Verse 2. Shield. Okay, shield. My shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. High tower is stronghold. I will call upon the Lord whom is who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell comp comp compassed me. For it's the sorrows of, death, sorrows of death, and then verse 5, the sorrows of hell compassed me about. Excuse me, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. God, as a spirit, has ears. What? Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved. Foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. The word wroth, I believe, is angry. Verse 7. Wrath, verse 7, wrath, yeah, angry, angry. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, ooh, and a fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet. He rode upon a cherub and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness a secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightnings and discomfited them. Discomforted is another word for discomforted, vanquished. Vanquished then. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy rebuke, O Lord. At the blast of, thy, of, thy, of the breath of thy nostrils, he sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from them who hate, hated me. For they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought 
me forth uh, also unto the large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the clean, cleanness of my hands hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands and his eyesight. With a merciful with a merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. With an upright man thou wilt show thy, thyself upright. And with a pure wilt, wilt thou show thyself pure. And with the froward Word means, verse 26, I think we've seen this word before, verse 26, yeah, 26, with a shrewd, with the shrewd, verse, I'm sorry, throw word, yeah, uh, uh, 26, oh, with a devious, with a devious, devious is a better word, with a devious that will show thyself devious, for that will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks, high looks, shrewd looks. For thou wilt light my candle. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness, for by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God I have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, and the word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler or shield to all those that trust in him. All those who trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a, who is a rock save our God? It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh, me my, maketh my per, way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth, he teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of, my, shield of thy salvation, and thy right hand hath holden me up, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again until they were all consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are falling under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued me under me those that rose up against me, those who rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the, the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me, that destroy them who hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust. Before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall save me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. He delivereth me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore will I give thanks unto, unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Uh, Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night after night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. 
in them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of, commandment of the Lord is, is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his, his errors? Cleanse thou the me from secret faults. Excuse me, keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let not let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 20. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the, uh, the, name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Grant thee according to thine, to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in, the, and in the name of our God. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know that the Lord, now know I that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. So with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we would remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, let the king hear us when we call. Psalm 21. The king shall joy in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation. How greatly shall he rejoice. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and has not withholden the request of his lips. For thou, for thou prevented, preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it him, even like the days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation. Honor and majesty hadst thou laid upon him. For thou hast made him most blessed forever. Thou hast made him exceeding exceedingly glad with thy countenance. For the king trusteth in the Lord, and through the mercy of the Most High he shall not be moved. Thine hand shall find all thine enemies. Thy right hand shall find all find out those that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shalt thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. For they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform. Therefore shalt thou make their own, make them their own, excuse me, thou shalt, therefore thou shalt thou make them turn their back when thou shalt be ready with thine arrows, when thou shalt make ready thine arrows upon thy, thy strange against the face of them. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength, so will we sing and praise thy power. Psalm 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Ooh, that's familiar. That's familiar. Why art thou so far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Oh, my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not, and in the, and in the night season, and am not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Israel, our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee, and were delivered. They trusted in thee, and were not confounded. 
but I am a worm and no man, a reproach of men and despise of the people. All they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip and they shake their head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he is delighted he delighted in him. But thou art he that took me out of the womb, thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon thee from the womb, thou art my God, from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for the trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me, strong bulls of Bashan have beset me around. They gaped me upon me with their mouths. Gate or gaped, I think it's gaped. Uh, verse 13, gate, gate, verse 13. Verse 13, open their mouths at me, raging and tearing. The gate, open their mouths at me. Huh. Open their mouths. Okay, yeah. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravenous and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a posture, and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me, the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me, they pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones, they look and stare at, upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. That's familiar, but that's a prophecy um, taken later, used later in the crucifixion of Christ. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength, hast, th hast thee to help me. Haste thee to help me. Uh, deliver my soul from the sword, my darling, from the power of the dog. Ooh, ouch. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. What? Unicorns don't exist? That's a typo right there. That's what I say. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Yea, that fear the Lord, ye that fear the Lord, Praise him, all ye the seed of Jacob, give, glorify him, and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. For he hath not despised nor poured the affliction of the afflicted, neither hath he hid his face from him. But when he cried upon him, he heard. But when he cried unto him, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he, and he is the governor among the nations. All they that be fat upon earth, upon the earth, shall eat and worship. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him. And none shall keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto people. Unto people that shall be born to have done this. I'm going to read Psalm 23. That's a separate one. And only Psalm 23. 